Hello uh, students, welcome to the class. Hope all of you are fit and fine in this pandemic condition. I am Sila Rimal and I'm going to teach you generation of computer today. And it is the remaining portion of previous class. Hope you have watched all my videos, like them and you have subscribed my channel. And don't hesitate to comment what I have to improve. So let us continue today's class. In today's class, we are going to learn features of fourth generation computers. Features of fifth generation computers. Differences between first and second generation computers. Differences between second and third generation computers. Differences between third and fourth generation computers. And finally, differences between fourth and fifth generation computers. Now, let us start from the fourth generation computer. The computers developed between 1971 and 1990 are called fourth generation computers. The fourth generation computers are marked by the use of VLSI, whose full form is very large scale integrated circuits and which is commonly known as microprocessor. By the use of microprocessor, computers become powerful and small size. Here is the picture of microprocessor, different types of pictures of different microprocessors. Among these microprocessor, i9 is the latest microprocessor. Microprocessor was developed by Tedoff in January 1971. Now let us have a look on the features of fourth generation computers. Microprocessor is the main component of fourth generation. Highly accurate and reliable. So when we compare fourth generation computer with other generations like first, second and third, fourth generation computers are regarded as highly accurate and reliable computers. The Operating speed of fourth generation computer is measured in picoseconds. Fourth generation computer uses magnetic and optical storage devices with more than 100 gigabyte capacity. In short, we call it GB. The smallest computers called desktop, laptop, notebook, palm top, and even smaller computers are developed in fourth generation computer. The development of microprocessor lead to the compact designs like desktop, laptop, notebook, palm top, etc. Fourth generation computer fully use high level language to write program. Now some examples of fourth generation computers are Apple Macintosh, IBM PCs and computers that we are using these days. Okay. Now let us move to our fifth generation computers. A lot of research is going on for the fifth generation computers. Actually, fifth generation computers are known as future generation because they are not developed yet. Some features of fifth generation computer have been developed, but fully fifth generation computer is not developed yet. So, Still, research for fifth generation computer is going on. The major missing point in the earlier generations was lack of thinking power. So researchers are trying to give thinking power to the fifth generation computers. The fifth generation computer system was initiated by Japan's Ministry of International Trade and Industry, in short, MITI, in 1989. The fifth generation computers will have artificial intelligence when they will be fully developed. Now, here is the picture of biochips, which is the main component of fifth generation computer. And biochip was developed by Carey Mullis in 1983. Here is one example of fifth generation computer that is sophia robot 
hope you know about Sophia robot. Sophia robot is a humanoid robot which look like human being and somehow behave like human being. Sophia robot can respond to our queries. Sophia robot was developed by Hong Kong based company Hanson Robotics in 14th February 2016. And Sophia Robot was brought at Nepal on March 20th, 2018. Now have a look on some features of fifth generation computers. Ultra large uh, integration technology, in short, ULSI technology will be used in fifth generation computer. Biochips will be the main processing component. Development of true artificial intelligence will be done in fifth generation computer. Development of natural language processing also will be done in fifth generation computer. Natural languages means our languages can be understood by, sorry, our languages will be understood by computer itself automatically. Advancement in parallel processing. It means till fourth generation, single processor is used, but researchers are trying to use multi-processors or multi-processing unit in fifth generation computers. Fifth generation computers will be more user friendly and will use multimedia features. Some of the feature of uh, fifth generation computer is achieved just like voice recognition, eye retina recognition. These are some obtained features of fifth generation computers. Now, finally, examples where AI are used. First one is Sophia Robot and some Hollywood movies like Blade Runner 1982, The Terminator in 1984, Artificial Intelligence in 2001, Robots in 2005, Real Steel in 2011, Big Hero 6 in 2014, Alita Battle Angel in 2019 and many more movies. And do you know, in Nepal also, there is one restaurant where orders are served by robots and the name of that restaurant is Naulo restaurant which is at Darwarmar. So these are the examples of use of AI. Okay class, up to here we have finished features of all the generations. Now we are going to move on differences between different generations. Let us start. Now, first of all, differences between first generation and second generation computers. Okay, the first difference is first generation computer used vacuum tube as main component, whereas second generation computer used transistor as main component. Second difference is the speed of first generation computer was measured in millisecond, but the speed of second generation computer was measured in microsecond. Third difference is first generation computer used machine level language whereas second generation computer used assembly level language. And the fourth difference is first generation computers were very big in size and generated more heat whereas second generation computers were smaller in size and generated less heat than first generation. Now let us have a look on the differences between second generation and third generation computers. Second generation computer used transistors as main component, whereas third generation computer used integrated circuit as main component. Second difference is Speed of second generation computer was measured in Sorry, here is written microsecond. Actually, it is 
sorry, it is microsecond. Speed of second generation computer was measured in microsecond, whereas the speed of third generation computer was measured in nanosecond. The third difference is second generation computer used assembly level language, whereas third generation computer used high level language. The fourth difference is second generation computers were bigger in size than third generation computers. They were smaller than first generation, but bigger than third generation. And third generation computer has great reduction in size than second generation computers. Now have a look on differences between third generation and fourth generation computers. Third generation computer used integrated circuit as main component, whereas fourth generation computer uses microprocessor as main component. Second difference is third generation computers speed was measured in nanosecond, whereas fourth generation computers speed was speed is measured in picoseconds. Third difference is Third generation computers were bigger in size than fourth generation computers. Whereas fourth generation computers were very small. So compact designs are possible from fourth generation. And the fourth difference is these computers are known as mini computers. Third generation computers are also known as mini computers. Whereas fourth generation computers are known as microcomputers. Now, let us have a look on fourth and fifth generation differences. Fourth generation computer uses microprocessor as main component, whereas fifth generation computers are supposed to use biochips as the main component in future. Second difference is the Speed of fourth generation computer is measured in picosecond, but the speed of fifth generation computer will be measured in femtosecond. Third difference is fourth generation computers don't have artificial intelligence, but fifth generation computers are supposed to have artificial intelligence in future. And the fourth difference is Fourth generation computers have single processing unit, but fifth generation computers will have multiple processing units. Okay, that's much for today. Hope you have understood. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.